Hello again. Members of different ethnic groups, social classes and religions all have different likelihood of committing various crimes and ending up in prison as a consequence. Some groups are disproportionately likely to end up in prison and others almost never appear in the statistics. Why this should be is a curious question neatly illustrated by a recent crime which might aptly be named the Case of the Six Sings which sounds rather like a story from the Thousand and One Nights. It sheds light though on one reason why few Chinese people or Sikhs end up in the hands of the police. Up in Peterborough, a Sikh guy called Sukhmandeep Singh, who's worked for the DPD delivery company, conspired with a group of other Sikhs, including Arshdeep Singh, Jagdeep Singh, Shivdeep Singh and Manjot Singh to kill a man called Orman Singh. He was duly lured into an ambush and murdered. I give a link to a news story about this crime in the description to this video. Why was he killed? Nobody investigating the death has the least idea. It was a private thing between group of Sikhs and they're not likely to share the reasons with anybody who's not a Sikh. The truth is Sikhs are the most law-abiding and responsible people in Britain. They make ideal neighbours and if you live next door to Sikhs you're not going to be bothered with noisy pop music or indeed anything else. They will not be out mugging people or carrying out acts of vandalism or anything like that. Their children tend to work hard and study hard at school and they never trouble anybody at all. Any crimes which are committed are likely to involve other Sikhs and nobody else is likely to be affected. I was reminded when I heard about this recent murder of a crime committed in Seven Kings a few years ago. I grew up in Seven Kings which is next door to Ilford and remember when Sikhs began to settle there. They began moving into a street called Pembroke Road and although at first some of the white people living there were a bit sniffy about them, they soon discovered that having Sikhs living next door was likely to be a good deal better than having a certain type of rowdy white family living next door to you. They are ideal neighbours, perfect workmates and good people to have business dealings with. There's a good wara in Seven Kings these days and the Sikhs are still pretty well perfect to live near. However, there was a naming ceremony at the Gurdwara in 2019 which led to some friction, although nobody in the community will ever say what that friction was or how it arose. As a result, though, a group of men decided to kill a man called Gurjeet Singh. He, however, had other ideas and although they were all armed with various weapons, and cornered him near Seven Kings Station, he fought back and stabbed three of them to death. I'll give a link to this case also in the description to this video. This was another good example of a Sikh crime involving only Sikhs. If there is any violence being inflicted, it will in general only ever be against another Sikh. I can be confident that no Sikh is going to jump me and steal my wallet or indeed bother me in any way at all. The same tends to be the case with people of Chinese heritage too. If you hear of a Chinese man attacking somebody, it's almost invariably another Chinese person. You can be on a bus late at night with a group of young Chinese men or Sikhs and I can guarantee you they will pose not the slightest threat to you. You can rest easy. This is not always the case with young men of other ethnicities so including by the way young white men. I would far sooner be among Sikhs or Chinese people late at night than other groups. If they are going to cut up rough it will be with each other not me. I haven't got the faintest idea why this should be but it is simply the way that things are. If you want a quiet life live next door to Chinese people or Sikhs. 
If you want to travel safely late at night, sit near a bunch of Sikhs or Chinese people. I think that this might have some bearing upon the low levels of arrest and imprisonment among both ethnicities. I rather suspect that they settle problems between themselves and go out of their way to avoid bringing the police into disputes if humanly possible.